Hello in the follow-up. I see you are eager to learn something, so let's try and do this. You have this shape layer, which is in the back. I would like you to press S on your keyboard to open up its scale. Once you have the scale, you should unlink it, because we do only want it to, to shrink in the horizontal range. So I'll unlink it, and that's my initial animation. I want this to whoop, to, to kind of come in and reveal me the text and everything I would like to be revealed. Okay, you start of course at 100% and 100% is the end animation. So take your playhead, go to about 2 seconds and click this stopwatch. This will set a keyframe on the design. Now go forward to the first keyframe if you want the animation to start right away and select the first value and press 0. Simple as that. So you have an animation like this. If you would do nothing to those keyframes, you would have an animation like that. But we would like this motion to come kinda quicker and uh, kinda better. So you can select those keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard. You can also right click, keyframe assistant and of course ease them in. Once they are eased, this button allows you to go into the graph editor. The graph editor is an editor for keyframes. So I'm selecting the keyframes and this is exactly the scale. See, once I click the scale, these are those two keyframes. If I select those keyframes, you see they are blue, they are selected. Okay, let me select them once again and take the right yellow handle. If you don't see the animation like that, you can select speed graph here because the value graph is a bit different. Okay, I'll go back to speed graph and I'll speed it up to the left side to the maximal amount and maybe a little bit from this side. Okay, perfect. We have an animation which starts out quick and then it slowly fades to the sides. I think maybe this animation takes a bit too long to play. Two seconds was too long. So I'll take this keyframe and shift it to maybe one second and 15 frames. Okay, let's preview. Yeah, it's a bit quicker and we'll see in a moment if this is okay for us. Um, please, this is enough for this lesson, let's go to the next lesson so you don't have to, to work so hard on this animation and you slowly build it up piece by piece. For now, you can even get rid of the text because for now the most important thing is this shape. You should have an animation like that. Let me close the graph editor. This is the point where you should be. So you should have a background, an animated shape and this text. See you in the next lesson where we duplicate the shape we already have for the purpose of track matting and revealing it. So this will be a really cool thing. If you want to see how to do this, please head over to the next lesson.